In life, we have to speak the truth of the world and the truth of laws and the truth of social appropriateness. What I marveled at is the number of illness that I see or the amount of illness that I see outside of COVID. The illness I see is an amazing ideology by young people from affluent and influent communities who think that they have rights to someone's life. It's amazing how many people have tried to talk to me about God the minute I put up a pagan sign. And what I wanted to know is do they have any understanding of what pagan means to me or do they have any understanding of what the word pagan means in the world? You see, there's a lot of misnomer, there's a lot of mistakes, there's a lot of misunderstanding about what that word means. And pagans are often considered the illness of the world when maybe they're the most marvelous religion there is. But the truth of our world is we have the right to choose our faith and our love of God the way we choose. But there's always a marvelous Catholic that wants to try to convert someone to their version of faith. And I'm sorry, I've already experienced that, I've already sampled that. I do have a loving friend who is Catholic who was kind to me for a short bit, but here's the truth. Her Catholic friends ruined that relationship for her and me. So in life, we have to decide who's in control of our life. When we do things in life, are we asking the Lord whether or not he is pleased with what we're doing? Are we taking time to pray in the morning? And I can tell you of late, I haven't been doing it. I've just been trusting in God. I've been trusting in the Holy Ghost. I've been trusting in the angels that love us the most and put up with our shit and let us swear at them, which is what I do quite a bit. But the truth is in life, when I'm looking for my life partners, when I'm looking for my strategic alliances, when I'm looking for whether or not I will eat at a shop or trust a person, I totally give it up to God. You see, submission to the Lord is something that most people don't really do. <clears throat> it's not about a lack of confidence in the Lord. It's a lack of belief, if you will. You see, free will is something we all have. And it's easy to have your head turned by a pretty face only to learn out later that they're the monsters in the world. You see, a monster can pretend to be sweet and nice and loving in the first a few instances and then become the bitches of the world. Life moves fast for people in their relationships. It either goes well or it doesn't go well. And openly, whether you take a look at anything in life, what you have to ask yourself is where will it all go? When you interact with your school friends, are they people in your industry or are they just people you went to school with long ago? When you start to interact with new people through classes, when thank God we get back to seeing people 3D, are you actually working at trying to figure out who's who and what's what based on what they're studying and how that will interact with you or me? It's marvelous to have social friends who are in totally different industries because they can often give you incredibly different perspectives. One of my favorite persons in the world is the most caring person that I have met in a long time, and her name marvelously resembles that. But what I loved about her the most in her Catholic faith was not only what she used to teach me about Catholicism and her version of faith, but what I enjoyed the most in our time together and our walks on the Monon and the talks that we would have about faith was that how she could just listen to me summarize things up quickly and go, well, here's what I think. I also had a marvelous neighbor friend whose name was Mary Jo, and she would do that for me, but she was my senior by a good 10 or 15 years. So when I was struggling with trying to figure out a tagline for my business, she actually heard my ideas and said, here's what you need. And I took it immediately as a gift to me. And I've loved it all this time because she just qualified and said, you're just off by just a little bit and here's what I think. And I knew that her wisdom and her business prowess was worth listening to based on the jobs she had held, the number of houses she owned, and the fact that she had plenty of money to do what she liked with her husband of late. Now, when I talk about these people, I'm not being rude. These are people who express to me those confidential informations, their pieces of their life, and shared their life with me. We would often go to their house for dinner, or they would come to our house for dinner, or she would come to our house for dinner because she lived alone. She actually lived separately from her husband, and I don't think it's out of turn to speak that. He had a marvelous career in a state, and she would move with her job as she needed to, and they would meet on the weekends for those romantic lover's holidays. That was not a life for me. I was not interested in something like that, you see. I wanted a girl who was with me every night, and that's something that I had, thankfully, to delight. But in our lifetime, we have to know who's who and what's what, and we have to start to ask ourselves the question, if I'm not content with my own face today, then maybe I'm not in the right place today. 
And if I'm not pleased with my man in bed today, then maybe I'm not really in the right place with God today. You see, God chooses people to come along our path, but he also says, make the right choice. Seek me first, and you shall find what you need. But if you don't seek me first, you might find the lesson that you need. 